Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and what we're looking at is Chrome OS running on a large display. This is a 24-inch 1080p monitor, and it's being powered by an Asus Chromebox, which is a small, inexpensive desktop computer that you can actually mount right to the back of a TV or a monitor to turn it into a sort of all-in-one desktop running Google's Chrome operating system. This particular model has an Intel Celeron 2955U Haswell processor, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of storage, and sells for about $180. You can see that we've got an SD card slot on the top here. Uh, there's two USB 3.0 ports on the back, HDMI, DisplayPort, audio, power, and Ethernet. It's got built-in Wi-Fi as well. And on the uh, other side, which you can't really see from here, there's also uh, two more USB ports. Uh, up here next to the lock, there's a little slot that you can stick a paperclip into, and that's the reset button, which is what you need to use to uh, get into developer mode. So in order to enter developer mode in Chrome OS, if you wanted to install Linux or other code that doesn't come with the operating system, what you would do is just sort of stick a paperclip in that little tiny hole right there, and uh, reboot the computer while the paperclip is uh, pressed down, and you're good to go. There's a little power LED light that's on, and that's pretty much it for the hardware. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and slide it right out of the dock, and the dock comes uh, included in the box, as well as this wireless keyboard and mouse. And I'm going to put this down, rearrange things a little bit here, and... give you a little tour. So uh, what we're looking at here again is this Chromebox, which is powering everything that you see on the screen. So we've got multiple browser tabs open. Uh, Chrome started off as sort of this full screen experience a couple of years ago. These days it's uh, much more versatile. You've got window manager, uh, app launcher, all sorts of things. So uh, among other things that you can do with it, we can uh, play video from Hulu. Full screen works just fine. Likewise, full screen Amazon Instant Video. And if you wanted to do both side by side, there's enough processing power to do that as well. We can go into YouTube. If you your device, it actually works pretty well. So here we are playing a game of Snake. And, I'm using and again, no problem with multimedia playback. So if you're thinking about using this as a foundation for a home theater PC kind of machine, uh, you can do that. Um, Chrome may or may not really be the best system because it's sort of set up like a laptop or desktop style operating system. So out of the box, it doesn't necessarily work with a um, lot of wireless controllers. But if you had, say, a wireless keyboard and mouse, you could set it up, use that from across the room, and it would work just fine. I know Lenovo, for instance, makes a little handheld thumb keyboard that you could use. Um, or you could try a sort of all-in-one device like this IO Gear one. I don't particularly love this one, but we bought it a couple of years ago. It's got a built-in trackball, so you can just sort of sit on the couch and pull up videos that you wanted to watch, and then as an added bonus, you could play web games or do other things. If you um, want to use it as a work-type machine, you can do that too, depending on your work. Um, Chrome OS is an operating system that's based on the Chrome web browser, and I use it to uh, update my website, write articles, and so forth. Um, when it comes to doing things like editing images, there's some basic tools that uh, I can go ahead and say load a picture, click the edit button, and do some cropping and brightness adjust and things like that. Um, but it's not necessarily the best system that I've ever used for that. Um, likewise, if you wanted to edit videos, Chrome might not really be the best thing for you because why would you want to upload an enormous video to the internet? use some sort of online application to edit it and then download it again. Now there are a growing number of Chrome packaged apps, apps that you can sort of download and install. On 16 gigs of storage you're not going to be able to fit a lot of stuff like that, but you can use Google Docs for instance in offline mode. So if you wanted to do documents and spreadsheets and so forth. And if you want to go a little bit farther, it's actually possible to run Ubuntu. So what we're looking at here is Ubuntu Linux. Uh, this is Ubuntu 13.10 with the LXDE desktop environment, and I could actually go ahead and launch a Firefox web browser if I wanted to. Uh, let's go back into this other desktop where I've got a bunch of things running at once. Let's minimize this. So here we've got the GIMP image editor. has far more um, options than what you would get with the built-in 
software. So I can resize, I can retouch, I can edit, I can do all sorts of things there. We've got a file manager, we've got the web browser you can see there, we've got a terminal window. So, um, you know, it's, it's the ability to install a lot of applications that might not otherwise be available. And I just kind of always get a kick out of installing Firefox on a Chromebook or Chromebox as this is. So um, it does work pretty well. And I'm using a tool called Crouton to switch between these two. So Crouton actually uses the same Linux kernel to run Ubuntu or Debian as uh, Chrome OS is using, which means that the Wi-Fi automatically works out of the box and you're sort of running these two environments side by side. You can find some more details about how to install Ubuntu using Crouton at lilliputing.com. Um, it works just as well on the Chrome box as it does on pretty much every Chrome uh, OS device I've used. It's theoretically also going to be possible to wipe Chrome OS if you want to and install Ubuntu or something else. but. Um, you know, I would give Chrome a try. Depending on your needs for a computer, it's actually a pretty useful operating system. And uh, part of the appeal of the Chrome environment is that since your uh, apps are all sandboxed away from the operating system, since you get automatic updates, since it boots quickly, um, it's a very safe, secure, simple to use device for accessing online uh, news sites, um, online video sites, online games, and so forth. Uh, my internet connection is being a little slow, so you can't see quite how useful it can be with a faster connection. Um, but it's uh, overall pretty responsive, uh, does well in benchmarks. It's actually probably one of the fastest Chrome OS devices I've tested in uh, benchmark tests like SunSpider. And um, yeah, so there you go. That's a quick look at the Asus Chromebox. Uh, which is the first Chromebox from Asus, one of the first Chromeboxes in general, Samsung has a couple, um, and one of the first that has an Intel Haswell processor. Uh, pretty pleased with the performance, definitely pleased with the price for $180. If you wanted to use it as the cheap foundation for a Linux-based desktop, you could do that. If you wanted to use it as a uh, kiosk-style machine, uh, use it in uh, education, or use it around the house, um, it's hard to find a better computer for $180. Uh, 